time is for people willing to shell out, yeah, at least $40,000. Uh, yeah, I think any American would want FaceTime with the president. Sounds great, yeah. Not many of us get the chance to see the president up close to get our picture taken. We're Republican, Democrat, I'd sure, pay $500 for exactly. that. Right. Not at 40000 Absolutely not. The Friday fundraiser will be at the Bachelor Farmer, the new Minneapolis restaurant owned by Governor Mark Dayton's two sons. I've eaten at the Bachelor Farmer. I have too. My bill was lower than $40,000. And I had a good time. It's a really good restaurant. It's just a coincidence that they're, they're the governor's sons. Brian Melendez used to chair the Minnesota DFL party. He said the typical fundraiser here peaks at... Around 10000 a ticket. The Democrats and Republicans certainly both do it. Everybody likes money for their political operations. And you know what? If I had that kind of money, I might do it too. Maybe that's for the 1%, but I'm in the 99. Rich donors are the most obvious attendees. Everybody on the Democratic side who can write that kind of check will be here. Labor unions and business groups can also cut that check, so they'll send a wrap. Plus, you'll also get people who can't write the $40,000 check themselves, but they can get... 40 of their friends to write a $1,000 check, and they're going to be here, too. A couple weeks ago, people paid 40 grand to go to a fundraiser at George Clooney's house. It raised $15 million. We don't have Clooney here. But that would be a good lunch, right? What does that get somebody who comes to an event like this? Uh, typically, at one of these events, you get your picture taken with the guest of honor. So these folks will walk away with a an autograph photograph of President Obama. And the chance to be one of 100 in the room with the leader of the free world. For a fundraiser, maybe I'd give them $2,500. You know what? I would pay for it, actually. I would probably pay for it, too. It'd be cool. 20 bucks. 20 bucks, yeah. We thought we'd save Margaret the money. Here's your picture. That was free from CCO. I appreciate it. See? <laughs> Thank you so much. Print that out, Margaret. Legally, you can only give about $2,500 to a presidential candidate. So the money for a fundraiser like this gets shared with the National Party, sometimes with the State Party, depending on who co-sponsors it. As for the lunch, Eric Dayton told me tonight the bachelor farmer will serve three courses. He said the emphasis is on making the service as discreet and efficient as possible. He doesn't want the restaurant or the lunch to get in the way of the experience, of course, people spending time with the president. Better be darn good courses. <laughs> yeah, the pressure's on, I it's think. It's on. I'm trying to get in there to review the food. So well, there you go. Yeah, you work on that, too. Yeah, yeah, that's right. How very interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Jason. Well, how your child doesn't clap.